Hello everyone. Gagwego Scano. Agi Jangwa Gagwego. Jokhi Oaje Okunonyo. Da One Dangu Diogod. De An Od Neo Jan. Hanwe Ganon de Gwatta. Looking at our COVID update, I'm happy to report we've seen a significant drop in the number of active cases in our community. A few weeks ago, we had 418 cases. Today, we're down to 55 detected cases between our health system and our CTS testing sites. A total of 35 cases were detected in Allegheny and 20 in Cattaraugus. I want to applaud you and thank all of you for the remarkable work of protecting the health and safety of our nation and community. Keep up the great work and let's drive that number even down farther. As a reminder, COVID testing is available seven days a week in both Allegheny and Cattaraugus. However, there have been a few recent changes to the testing hours. In Allegheny, free CTS testing with both rapid tests and PCR tests available takes place every day from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the ACC. This testing is open to everyone and appointments and insurance are not required. In addition, drive-through PCR testing by Bluestone is available by appointment for enrolled Senecas only. Photo ID is required, and please remember that everyone showing up for a PCR test is asked not to eat or drink for at least an hour before testing. In Cattaraugus, free CTS testing is available seven days a week from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., and that's at the Seneca Fire Station number two, located off of Route 5 behind the Gilday Arena. This daily CTS testing, which includes both rapid and PCR tests, is open to everyone and appointments and insurance are not required. For more information on our testing programs, please contact Mike Gates, Emergency Management Director, at 716-244-0820 or check out the information on our website at SNI.org. Even as our case numbers drop, I want to remind everyone of the importance of giving your COVID vaccine and booster. First dose, second dose, and booster doses of the COVID vaccine are readily available for all eligible individuals aged five and older through the Seneca Nation Health System. This includes the Pfizer, the Moderna, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. To make your appointment, call Terry Cowles at Allegheny Health, 716-945-5894, or Kim Bradley in Cattaraugus Health at 716-532-5582, or you can do the online form at SenecaHealth.org backslash vaccine. Along with the drop in cases, Seneca Gaming Corporation announced that it has lifted the mask mandate at the casinos, effective Thursday, February the 10th. While the nation recently announced a two-week extension of various COVID restrictions at nation facilities, we will continuously review this policy in the coming days. Speaking of the Seneca Gaming Corporation, I want to thank the company's board and executive team for conducting their quarterly update for nation members recently, giving our people the opportunity to hear how this vitally important economic engine is performing. This, of course, brings us to the compact situation. There's been a lot of discussion and, frankly, misinformation circulating throughout the community regarding our compact over the last few weeks. Twenty years ago, the Seneca Nation entered into a compact. This business agreement opened up some very important economic doors for our nation and us as a people. Because of our casino business, we've been able to invest in countless programs and services that would have otherwise been impossible. The facilities we have and how we've been able to breathe new life into preserving our language and strengthening our culture, 20 years ago, seeing Seneca youngsters immersed in Seneca language through early education programs was largely unheard of. The head lease payments that fund annuity, elderly and disability payments. The availability and quality of services in world-class facilities right here in our nation was a mere fraction of what it's been for more than a decade now. All of these investments and advancements in our way of life, along with more than 400 government jobs and 200 more casino jobs for Seneca's alone the impacts and the benefits our gaming business success has felt by the 8,500 Senecas today, any harmful impacts to our businesses are also borne by the 8,500 and would take away from the future generations. Protecting the long-term strength and viability of our casinos through a fair and equitable compact is and must be 
our greatest nation's economic priority. Finally, a reminder that our regular February Council session is scheduled for this Saturday, February the 12th at 9.30. In order to accommodate both in-person attendance and adequate health and safety measures, the meeting will be held at the CCC. Anyone interested in virtual participation can send an email to sngotomeet at sni.org with your name, nation ID number, phone number, and of course the meeting date. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe. Stay strong. Donnie Hodiate.